Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy. Very cold outside right now where we're standing. It's below zero. And one of the number one questions I get a lot is how do animals survive this really cold weather? Obviously, they don't have hot baths and showers and all these clothes to wear, but don't worry. They're very well built for living in our environment, which is why obviously they're here. And what you might not know is right behind me right now is one of those wild animals. Can you see him? Follow my shadow. Boop. He's right there. He's at, right at the base of the tree. It's a little rabbit. It, it's kind of hard to see him because he blends in. Remember that camouflage is so well? But a cool, couple things I want you to note about these rabbits as you get some close up looks at them. First of all, notice how he's sitting. He's puffed up and his ears are down. Now, you guys know rabbits have really big ears, but there's a reason they're not straight up right now. It's to conserve heat because those ears, just like your ears, when you don't wear a hat, they get really cold and a lot of heat comes off of them. That's why we wear a hat to keep that heat in. Well, they don't. They don't they have hats, of course, so they have to keep those ears low so they're against their body so they don't let all that hot heat out of their head. It keeps them warmer. The other thing about rabbits that's really cool is their body temperature is really high. So if they sit puffed up, they can actually melt a little spot in the snow and it keeps it nice and warm, kind of like when you guys are under your covers in bed. The other thing is they're going to sit right up against the trees so the wind doesn't blow and doesn't, of course, make them cold because you guys all know wind can make you really, really cold on a cold day. The other cool thing is look at what this rabbit's doing. He's eating some really weird food. He's eating pine needles. Now that's not typical of a rabbit to eat a lot of pine needles, but when it's cold like this and it's hard to find grass under the snow, you eat just about anything you can find because the more you eat, the more fat your body has to burn when it's really cold. And believe it or not, that's why you shiver. And what that's doing is that's your body generating heat, of course, to keep warm and it helps to actually eat that fat to keep you warm as well. And so a lot of these animals, that's why they eat a lot of food before winter time so they're nice and chunky so they can, of course, their body eats that fat to keep them nice and warm, especially bears when they're out in their you know caves or dens hibernating during the winter time. Kind of a cool thing to keep in mind. Now the other thing to look for are birds. A lot of times this time of year you'll see birds sitting up on the trees or the telephone wires. They look big and puffy. They're doing the same thing. They're puffing their feathers out, trapping the heat inside to keep them warm. Again, just like you guys in bed with your covers. Kind of a cool thing. So there's a lot of fun, cool things you can look for on a very, very cold day today. Of course, looking at wildlife, seeing how they survive in these extreme temperatures. Until next time, guys, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. We'll see you out here, well, maybe when it's a little bit warmer. See you soon.